Now, I know you can't just help yourself. You see something cute and you just have to go and fondle it, right? Well, stop it. Some of those super cute looking creatures might look sweet and innocent, but they're just waiting for a Wally like you to poke your paw in their direction so they can rip it right off. You have been warned. From the species that's plotting total world domination right under our noses, to a creature that can't wait to give you a dose of rabies, here are 20 cute animals that you need to run away from. Number 20. Dolphins Now despite their appearance, we all know that dolphins are actually psychos, right? They're clever, and they love nothing more than working together to create a whole bunch of carnage, especially if a shark unwittingly crosses their path. Sounds crazy, I know, but dolphins are extremely aggressive toward sharks, so most sharks know to avoid an encounter with these smiling assassins, if they want to live to see another day anyways. Even though they may look cute, dolphins' bodies are designed to hand out some serious pain. That pointy snout is a dangerous battering ram, capable of inflicting major and even life-threatening injuries on a shark. If the dolphin lands a few blows in the right spots, that is, a porpoisely aimed snout can cause internal internal trauma if it wallops a shark's belly, or if they pound the creature's gills, it may even lead to death. So a lone shark swimming in the territory of a pod of dolphins should be afraid. Very, very afraid. And they are. Sharks seem to have adjusted their behavior and will avoid dolphins as much as they possibly can, and if they're unfortunate enough to have a close encounter with one, or a gang of them, a shark will likely beat a hasty retreat as soon as the first snouts have begun swinging. They know the truth about these maniac mammals, even if we refuse to see it. Dolphins are amongst the most intelligent of marine mammals on Earth. Scientists love to study the behavior of dolphins. I mean, they're pretty cute and fun to watch, so of course they do. This also means that there's a whole load of information that's been gathered about how they learn and interact. It turns out that these guys are capable of solving some very tricky problems. They're also able to work together. And you know how two brains are better than one, right? Their social interactions are apparently bolstered by their ability to use complex communication systems. And they can even understand abstract concepts. Perhaps we should keep an eye on these guys. If any animals are capable of planning world domination, it's the dolphin, and we'd never see it coming. This is why the world should fear dolphins, not sharks. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Slow Loris Although very seldomly seen, the slow loris is amongst the rarest of all primates on planet Earth. These animals do have quite a bit of reputation. Apart from being very slow moving, duh, they also have an incredibly poisonous bite. A bite from a loris is super deadly, and there's no known antidote. This is an unusual feature for a primate, and scientists are still unable to figure out exactly why the loris has a venomous bite at all. Weird! However, they are pretty cute though, if you like the humanish characteristics of these animals, because they have really human looking hands. Isn't that just a tiny bit creepy? No? Add to the fact that the word loris is from the Dutch for clown, and that these animals have extra vertebrae, so they move more like a snake than a primate. If the loris strikes you as cute, despite being a clown faced, human fingered, snake creeping creature, then please be careful for Pete's sake. Remember, they also have a deadly and and incurable venomous dripping bite. Number 18. Polar Bear if there's one animal on the list that you should fear above all others, then it is the polar bear. Apart from anything else, the polar bear is one of the very small number of apex predators on the planet that sees a human being as being food. That's right, one sniff of you, and they see walking hams dancing in front of their eyeballs. To a polar bear, there's no discernible difference between a person and a seal, not in terms of dinner options anyways. The thing is that where polar bears live, the food has become scarce. They spend a lot of time in a state of near starvation, so any food is good food to them, 
and that makes them extremely dangerous. They're extremely large carnivores, which means that they need a lot of meat to fill them up, and this amount of food is hard to come by on the frozen Arctic tundra. They're powerful, extremely fast, and could actually knock your head off with a single swing of their immense paw. So don't let that furry cute face fool you. They will smell you before you can even spot that they're nearby. But despite every fiber of your being screaming at you to do so, you should never run away from a polar bear. Because they're going to catch you and they're going to eat you. Running will simply confirm the suspicion that they've had that you were prey. Apparently you should just back away slowly, but who knows, they'll probably still eat you anyways. Number 17. Leopard Seal Seals are so cute, all roly-poly and big-eyed and cannibalistic. What's that now? Okay, well it doesn't sound so cute anymore, does it? Named for their spotty, leopardish patterned coat, the leopard seal is the fiercest and meanest of all seals. They're very skilled hunters, and their very favorite dinner is warm-blooded and often seal-shaped. Yikes! These heavyweight seals can tip the scales at 840 pounds, measuring up to 11 and a half feet. They also live in chilly Antarctic waters where they keep warm on the account of the hefty layer of blubber that they keep under their speckly skin. While it's true that these guys are partial to the odd small seal, they're also especially efficient at swallowing penguins and other seabirds. The leopard seal has a powerful jaw and some particularly pointy teeth. They can be seen hanging out by an ice shelf, basically waiting for the penguins to jump right into their open mouths or making a surprise attack from underwater as a bird lands on the surface. These animals may have cute faces, but they're as ruthless as they come. Number 16. Swan in the UK, most people have heard that swans can be pretty feisty and have been known to break arms when they're particularly cross. The swan, though, is even more dangerous than its proclivity towards limb snapping might suggest. This bird has a murderous streak. Mute swans are famously the property of the queen, although if they belong to her, how come she isn't a more responsible owner? These crazed birds have been marauding around the countryside, starting fights and breaking bones for crying out loud. The big bird isn't shy when it comes to protecting its nest and defending its territory. In fights between male swans, it's common for the aggressor to actually push the other swan under the water. They're also very hungry birds and need a lot of food to keep them going, gorging on vegetation and preying on animals like fish, frogs, and their spawns, mollusks and insects as well. Swans are actually responsible for displacing other native species and their greedy feeding can actually damage habitats from overconsumption of vegetation. Vegetation. Back in 2012, a man in Chicago was actually attacked by a swan while kayaking. The bird first capsized the boat, and then, and this is the really crazy part, the man attempted to swim to shore, but the swan prevented his escape and ultimately drowned the guy. So although they're beautiful to look at from a safe distance, the mute swan is not to be messed with. This is one bad bird. Number 15. Panda. Now I know, I know, pandas are cute. They can't possibly be deadly as well. We've all seen the videos, right? These guys are always up to something hilarious like sneezing or causing a zookeeper to run around in circles with all their naughty behavior. But those were pandas in captivity. A wild panda? That's a much different beast altogether. With so much of what we do understand about pandas being based on captive ones and what they do, what about the wild panda's behavior? What we do know know is that these bears have a wild side and they are, well, really horny. While it's true that even wild pandas spend most of their time eating tons of bamboo and as a result pooping up to 100 times a day, that's right, 100 poops per day, they're also capable of some pretty fierce behavior. A few people have had the misfortune of discovering just how fierce a cute panda can get. The panda's ability to chew through all that bamboo means that it has super high bite force. meaning that it can definitely tear a chunk out of a nice soft human limb. And that's exactly what one panda did to an inebriated individual who took an ill-advised shortcut through a panda enclosure. Ouch, that's gonna leave a mark. Number 14, Moose. 
The massive Alaskan moose is the largest of all moose kind, and there are estimated to be between 175,000 and 200,000 of these monster moose mooching around in Alaska. These big animals can measure a whopping 7 feet from hoof to shoulder, so that doesn't even include their huge head and antlers. A large male moose can weigh as much as 1,600 pounds, which is an astonishing size. In fact, the only land mammal in North America that is larger is the bison. The male moose grows a mighty pair of new antlers every spring and sheds the old ones in winter. They obviously need to keep up with the latest fash horns. Alaskan moose are not only big, but they're also dangerous. Despite the fact that these animals are strictly herbivores and spend their days chomping plants, they can be super aggressive if they feel in any way whatsoever threatened. The female moose, well, she'll not hesitate to hoof you to kingdom come if she feels that you'll be a threat to her baby. So, lesson learned, never mess with a moose, because it might end up being your last moose steak. Number 13. Kangaroo with the thrill of being the biggest living marsupials on the planet, it's no wonder that these big guys are jumping with delight. I mean, who wouldn't want to be the undisputed maximum of their kind? Is it just me though, or are kangaroos really weird? I can't quite get my head around the idea of a massive hopping creature with bulging pecs and a propensity towards boxing and a whole lot of swagger. It's so bizarre. And don't mess with them either. These big beasts have a bit of a temper, and that reputation for boxing doesn't come from nowhere. And so, the golden rule is never to be rude to a roo. <laughs> the red kangaroo is indeed a very big kangaroo, and they can grow to be 5 feet tall, weighing 187 pounds, and along with all that height and weight, they also pack quite the considerable amount of power. Males routinely leap 30 feet in one single jump. There are loads of red kangaroos in their native Australia. In fact, there are so many of them that quite a lot of them are turned into tasty burgers and steaks each year. Yep, that furry hopster is a dining delicacy amongst the Aussies, and it's growing in popularity elsewhere in the world as well. Number 12. Poison Dart Frogs if you ever see a cute little golden poison frog, don't pet it. Even if it does look like it might turn into a prince, you definitely don't want to kiss it either, because even their skin contains a deadly toxin that can literally make you totally dead. These miniature frogs may only measure about an inch long, but they do pack one lethal punch, enough poison to kill you ten times over, in fact. The golden poison frog lives in the rainforests of Colombia, where the indigenous Imbara people still use the frog poison to tip their darts for hunting, as they have done for centuries. This is the very reason that these little creatures go by the name of Poison Frog, but you already knew that, I'm sure. You're quite intelligent, aren't you? Although the particular combination of toxins in their body is deadly, there are some scientists who believe that by isolating different parts of the compound, they can actually discover some important medical uses. They've actually developed a synthetic version of some of this frog's unique juice that can be used as a particularly potent painkiller. This is one pocket-sized but very powerful frog-based pharmacy. Number 11. Raccoons with their bandit mask faces and ingenuity, it looks as though raccoons are the new kings of the city. They're literally breaking into people's houses to steal food. What seems to begin as opportunistic scavenging, these tenacious little guys are finding cat doors and open windows all over cities across the United States. Raccoons are clever and tenacious, and these creatures will find food and figure out how to get into almost any place that might harbor it. Raccoons have long been using easy cat door entrances to people's homes and then usually eating the cat's food and probably anything else that it can get a hold of, all before hastily being chased back into the street by a flustered homeowner. Some people have even attempted to keep the hungry mammals out of their homes, only to discover that the clever little creatures, well, they simply found another way to get in, or indeed figured out the new system designed to confound them. Research suggests that the city raccoons are most likely becoming more intelligent than their country cousins. The urban environment offers them so many great opportunities to try out different ways to get food and thrive in the densely populated places. It seems as though raccoons are actually really good at solving puzzles and learning new skills, so the more that people try to keep them out, 
the better they're becoming at finding ways in. If left to their own devices, these brainy animals are likely to be planning heists and successfully pulling off bank jobs, as long as they can get a tasty treat out of it, that is. So you better look out, because the raccoons are coming. Number 10. Dingoes the dingo is a type of feral dog from Australia. It's had a positive relationship with the indigenous people of the country, but less so with the colonial settler populations. These are animals with a storied reputation, but are they just simply misunderstood? The official number of dingo attacks on humans is pretty low, but like all wild animals, dingoes are unpredictable. They're very easily provoked, and if they're protecting their young, dingoes can be extremely hostile. If you happen to provoke a dingo, it will very likely become violent and aggressive. But just look at that cute little face. It's also very confusing, isn't it? Now before you all dash out and try to coax a cuddly looking dingo back to your abode, do bear in mind that these wild dogs have been known to attack and kill humans, and it may even be illegal to keep them. Some parts of Australia require that you actually have a permit to keep a dingo, in other regions, it's banned altogether. Number 9. Grey Wolf Wolves have a bit of a bad reputation. They've been the standard baddies in many a fairy tale and have been associated with dark forces ever since ancient times. But are they intelligent? Well, we often ask if wolves are good and bad, but we don't necessarily ponder their cleverness quota. Like many other animals credited with cranial capacity, the wolf is a social creature. These legendary creatures gain a good deal from living in packs. The strict hierarchy of the pack is one of the ways that the wolves are able to stay safe and also to hunt so efficiently. A wolf pack works together to find and catch its prey. Six heads are better than one, after all. But the greatest indicator that these animals have a specific and rich intelligence is their ability to communicate either with one another or other packs of wolves through their unique, albeit haunting, howling. A wolf's howl is like its fingerprint, completely individual to each one, and they're able to use their extraordinary voices to communicate across great distances and to warn others off of their territory. Number 8. Tasmanian Devils you know the cartoon, the Tasmanian Devil, but in real life, these animals are so much more cuter. These unusual creatures only live in Tasmania, just off the coast of the Australian mainland. The Tasmanian Devil has the appearance of a kind of small bear, but they're actually little marsupials. You know, the animals who have really tiny babies and then carry them in a pouch until they're actually big enough to be in the world. Think about kangaroos and wallabies and such. So what exactly is deadly about this cute little creature? Well, I guess they have a pretty scary name, so they must be at least a little bit naughty. It turns out that the name actually comes from the totally insane screeching howls that the Tasmanian Devil is known for. Europeans, upon first encountering the animal, actually thought in that classic ignorant colonist style that the little creature made such unearthly noises that it was because it was actually a devil. Which, of course, is completely rational, right? <laughs> so perhaps their name is a bit unfair to the Tasmanian Devil. I mean, they are unlikely to ever harm a human, but they can certainly give you a pretty nasty bite if you're mean to them. They actually prefer their food pre-dead, eating mainly carrion. They have really strong teeth and jaws for munching through bones, and they're very noisy eaters. But if you're a chicken, then you should definitely watch out, because the Tasmanian Devil is known for its hen-killing habits and is particularly partial to the easy prey of a farm animal. Number 7. Platypus this has got to be one of the weirdest looking animals on Earth. The platypus is certainly pretty cute, with its furry body, webbed feet, and duck-like bill. It looks like what you might end up with if you asked a child to create an imaginary creature. In fact, when the English first saw these amazing animals in the 18th century, they thought that it was a trick and was actually two creatures sewn together. But this magical beastie, although strange, is absolutely real. Platypus only live in eastern Australia and on the island of Tasmania. They're a crazy combination of mammal, bird, and fish with some completely unique features. 
Now I know they look cute, but platypuses are hiding a surprising secret weapon. These guys, and it's only the guys, as the females lose the feature when they're three months old, have venomous spurs above their hind legs. These cute little chaps use these to defend themselves from predators and also in combat with rival platypuses. The deadly toxin that they produce and inject into an attacker can kill a dog or a cat and will cause a really painful puncture wound in a human. So you probably wouldn't want to upset one. Number 6. Elephant Elephants are magnificent, intelligent, and famously vegetarian, so what could possibly be making these beautiful animals turn up on a list of deadly creatures? Well, to be honest, it's the horrible way that humans have treated them that's caused it. Elephants do never forget. It may be an old saying, but it does remain true. While elephants are highly intelligent and sensitive mammals, they also have extraordinary memory, and many, many elephants have some pretty horrific memories of just what humans have done to them and their families. In recent decades, there have, mercifully, been greater efforts to protect this species and to introduce areas for the elephant to live without the threat of hunters. However, as life on the planet Earth becomes increasingly difficult for many people, as well as animals, the size of these elephant reserves is frequently not big enough for the elephants to avoid contact with humans. And it seems that elephants are basically suffering from PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, which humans often suffer from when they're exposed to horrifying and dangerous experiences. So, it does make sense that elephants can also experience this as well. They remember, after all. Since most bad things that happen to elephants have been done to them by humans, well, you can imagine how they might feel about humans, and yes, it can end badly when they meet. Number 5. Pufferfish now, I'm not sure that I would call these guys cute exactly, but they are definitely deadly. Here's a few fun facts about this funny looking fish. Puffer fish are the second most poisonous vertebrate on the planet. Even in second place though, these fish each contain enough deadly tetrodotoxin to kill 30 humans. So I reckon that second place rating is basically irrelevant. They're named the puffer fish for the weird way that they protect themselves from would-be predators in the wild. They can puff themselves up to make it extremely difficult difficult for a predator to keep a hold of them or to sink their teeth in. In reality, this defense mechanism probably saves the predator's life as often as it does the puffer fishes because just one nibble could kill. Although their reputation as a super deadly poisonous fish is extremely well known, there are still plenty of people out there who want to eat the thing. Crazy perhaps, but true. In Japan, the fish is a delicacy, but it is absolutely has to be prepared by a highly skilled certified person. You make one tiny wrong cut when preparing a puffer fish, and whoever eats it is a goner. This is a serious business, and although there is approximately one death per year from ingesting this delicacy, these are almost always caused by people attempting to prepare the fish themselves rather than paying the high restaurant prices for an expert to do it properly. Number 4. Blue Ringed Octopus a dinky little octopus with a deadly sting. The blue-ringed octopus is only about 5 and 8 inches long, but it does have a venomous bite which contains enough poison to kill 26 humans within a few minutes. It's no surprise then that these little fellas are amongst the most deadly creatures in all the oceans. The lethal neurotoxin that the blue-ringed octopus uses is none other than tetrodotoxin, the same stuff that makes the puffer fish and the golden poison frog so dangerous. So, we know that this is a serious substance that's possessed by only the most toxic creatures in the animal kingdom. If this octopus bites you, the only chance of survival is an almost immediate medical intervention and a life-saving ventilator. The neurotoxin literally paralyzes the body and stops all motor functions, which includes your breathing. But look at how pretty they are! As well as having a bite with 1,000 times the killing power of cyanide, the blue-ringed octopus has a whole ton of other skills. That includes making itself look as trippy as a lava lamp. This is actually the octopus's warning system, so if it does feel threatened, it'll light itself up like a Christmas tree as a sign to any would-be predator to back off. And I would pay attention if I were you. Number 3. Wolverine 
Wolverines are pretty tough little creatures. Although they look like funny little bears, they're actually the biggest members of the weasel family. They dwell in some of the coldest places on Earth and are known to be short-tempered and kind of mean. Although a wolverine is not the biggest of animals, despite how jacked that wolverine is in X-Men, These animals are aggressive and kind of feisty, and they can actually be pretty dangerous. In the wild, they mainly eat carrion and scavenge for their food, but they're actually also extremely effective hunters when the mood takes them. Despite the diminutive size, wolverines are able to get involved with some pretty big prey. They're known to have taken down animals as big as bison and moose, which is wild, really. These guys are about as big as a medium-sized dog, but they're vicious, and they can deliver a nasty bite, so they're best avoided. Number 2. Deer Although deer are kind of cute, they're also pretty jumpy, often horned, and regularly easily startled. So in general, it's best not to go around poking these wild animals. A reaction is unpredictable to say the least. But for the most part, the thing that causes most problems for humans is not so much the deer itself as one of the critters that likes to hang around on it. Deer ticks are responsible for infecting people with Lyme disease. Thousands of people catch it this way every year. Lyme disease is an unpleasant illness which begins with a tick bite that has a bullseye kind of rash around it. Then the following symptoms include fever headache, and into the longer term, stiff joints and heart issues. Now, although few people seem to die from the disease, it can be extremely unpleasant and sufferers may have a range of symptoms for many years. The ticks themselves live most of their lives out in the natural environment, and although their lifespan is generally two to three years long, they only spend a fraction of that time on their host. The average deer tick will only have about three feeding sessions of the blood of a host in their whole lifetime. When the egg of the tick hatches, the creature then emerges, and this larva will feed once on a small mammal, like a mouse perhaps, and then they molt their skins to turn into nymphs. The following spring is when the nymph will go out and get a meal on whatever warm body is available. Maybe yours, maybe the deer. They don't really care. Hopefully they didn't pick up Lyme disease off of that mouse. They only sucked on it that one time, but once is all it takes really. Then they have one more session as a fully grown adult tick, and that's when they go around doing all the mating and whatnot, and spreading all of that disease. Ew, that's quite enough of that now, isn't it? Number one. Ant Eater Why don't ant heaters get sick? Because they are full of antibodies. <laughs> So how can a toothless, short-sighted animal with bad hearing be any kind of deadly threat? Well, except to ants, obviously, the clue is in the name. Giant ant eaters live in Central and South America, mostly minding their own business of poking their nose into an ant's business. Usually these guys will avoid humans altogether, but they do have a couple of defense mechanisms that they can bring into play if they feel threatened. The giant anteater can grow up to seven feet long. They have their famously characteristic long nose, of course, but they're also in possession of four super sharp claws on each of their front feet. These are for digging into termite mounds and anthills, but it turns out that they're also useful weapons. When an anteater stands up on its rear legs, it uses its tail to steady itself like a tripod and holds out its arms. It's not really asking for a hug. That anteater is ready for a punch-up, and those claws can actually kill you. So as a friendly reminder, as cute as these animals may look, and as many huggy anteater memes as there may be, the giant anteater is actually deadly. So will you finally stop poking your fingers through cages and fondling wild beasts even if they do look cute? Which of these cute but dangerous animals has surpassed you? As always, let me know in the comments section down below. Go on, don't be shy. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I will surely see you next time.